Hello, there's Jack here at Bake with Jack Headquarters giving you my weekly words of wisdom <laughs> on the Great British Bake Off 2016, Series 7, and this week was Episode 7. Um, and before we go on, I want to apologise for the lack of video last week. Last week I was a very busy boy and it's no excuse. Some stuff happened and I didn't get the video out to you. But what I want to do is I want to share something with you right now uh, that applies to last week. There are certain things that I love about the Bake Off. There is loads that I love about the Bake Off and what I like to see the most is the creativity. I love to see what contestants come up with, what they've been tinkering around with in the kitchens, the flavour combinations, the ideas that they have. I absolutely love that aspect but there is one thing that really gets my goat and I'm going to tell you what that is right now. Fugas. I love to make a fugas. There's a recipe on my website if you want to make one. I'm going to put a cheeky Halloween one on there as well. The fugas thing, fine. Look, I have an issue with the word proper. The proper this, the proper that, the proper fugas, the proper fugas. This one's not proper because that. It doesn't matter about proper, you know, and sometimes I think that it scares a lot of people off being proper. For a long time in my career as a chef, and uh, I've always wanted to go and find the proper something, and sometimes that feeling paralyzed me a little bit in the past because I think I can make this, or I can. Find, I want to find a proper way. This is not proper. I want to find the proper way, like the proper Italian such and such. But that such and such might be proper Italian one in the north of Italy, but not in the south of Italy. And at the end of the day, what matters to me is if it tastes nice, if it looks nice, if I like it, if the guests around the table enjoy eating it, that's what matters to me. Not the amount of cuts in a food gas. I'm sorry, and I get it, I get it. I get it has to be uniform. I get that it's a different achievement to coming up with your own style of food gas, but I don't have to like it, I don't think. And I don't, I'm sorry. And that's my rant over. Let's move on to series seven. Dessert week, episode seven. Um, really enjoyed it, roulage was excellent. Sometimes somebody puts together a little flavor combo or I read a recipe for a combo and I think, oh my goodness, why didn't I think of that and why haven't I done it and why am I not eating it right now? And this week that goes to Candice Roulard. Cheesecake roulade, hello, cheesecake in the middle of a roulade, yes please. Seriously, that was like a light bulb moment for me. Ping, I can't believe I haven't tried that yet, or tasted that yet, I bet it was delicious. Um, the roulades was a really good round, and in this week I thought, yes, Celesi is back in the game. After sawing his roulade, I thought he was back in the game, no spoilers yet. Andrew smashed it. His roulade was spot on and it looked exceptional. He did a really good job on that roulade. Round number two was Marjolaine. I've written Marjolaine in my notes like I knew what it was. It's a very old school thing, isn't it? It looks way too sweet for me and I've got a sweet tooth, but Mary Berry was all over it. She liked it. Oh, she, she did like it. I saw her tasting nice. She loved it and they all looked good. At this point in the competition, they all looked good apart from a few wobbly ones. They all uh, looked really, really good. But for me, it's all about the mousse cake round. Round number three, 24 mousse cakes, two different flavors, um, was excellent. A lot of wobbly things, a lot of melting things. Sorry, Celeste. And um, I must say, I know I mentioned Jane a lot and it's probably a little bit unfair, but Jane's mousse cakes was spot on. You could tell when he was cutting it, um, that they were just wobbly enough, they held their shape nicely, and that thing with the stencil, with a cake mix on top when she baked it and peeled it off, there was a stencil on the back, if you haven't seen it, watch it. Um, they looked stunning, and uh, also, shout out to Benjamina, because although they may not have looked stunning, they were absolutely delicious, uh, I've heard. Anyway, here come your spoilers uh, for today. Who went? Tom went. I think it was time, Tom. I'm sorry. I think it was your time. And at this point in the competition, I'm all very attached to everybody, so it's sad to see anyone go, but 
It was not your week, Tom, and it's sad to see you go. And here comes your star baker. It was Andrew. Yes, Andrew. Yes, finally. People on Twitter all over Andrew saying, Andrew needs to be star baker. And now he is three out of three this week, Andrew. Congratulations. Keep it up. So pleased uh, that you get through every time and that you're star baker this time because I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen next. And next week is Tudor Week. Tudor Week. Tudor Week next week, whatever that means. I look forward to uh, getting an education in it. That's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching my videos and continuing to like them and subscribing and to share them with your friends as well. Thank you so much. I look forward to Tudor Week and I'll see you next week for my Bake Off wisdom, as always.